I'm Kate and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my top 10 lipsticks for fall. Some of these are very daytime appropriate, some of these are very not. <laughs> some of these are liquid lipsticks, some of them are normal, some of them are drugstore, some of them are high end. So I definitely have a lot of different options for you to choose from and if you are a big fall lover like me you will definitely like some of the makeup tutorials that I have done on my channel already. I just put out a fall essentials video and the other half of that is going live next week. So if you don't want to miss out on any of my fall videos or any of my upcoming holiday ones including Halloween and Christmas then you know what to do by tapping that red subscribe button down below and I will also have all of my socials well these will probably be linked earlier but maybe I'll put my socials right here so I don't look silly pointing at nothing <laughs> what do you say all right let's jump right into it Any and all foundation and powder that come off while I'm taking this off, I would love for you to ignore. Thanks for being my friend. So first of all, I'm going to start off with this lipstick by NYX. This is a nice matte formula, and this one is in the shade Whipped Caviar. This gives you that nice, deeper-ish nude shade that is perfect for fall, day-to-day, -day, really beautiful color, and they also sell a lip liner that matches with it. I have it, and it's in a drawer in that room. <laughs> but I'm not going to be using it today. I would if I were doing like a full look with this, but I'm just putting this on my face, so. So it is a nice, deep, brownish, mauve tone. I'm not entirely sure how to describe it, but because it is a matte, it's going to last you a heck of a long time on your lips and the only negative thing I have to say about this is that it does have a slight smell of play-doh so either you love that or you hate that but I don't mind it and if you really can't stand it but you really love this color you can either fill in your lips entirely with the whipped caviar lip liner or you can put a nice scented gloss on top of this of course now it you know defeats the purpose of putting on a matte lipstick but still pretty color so <laughs> Play do or play don't, you know, whatever you want. I just get the feeling I'm gonna look like the Joker by the end of this. <laughs> Here's hoping I don't. The next shade is by Maybelline, and this one is in the shade Burgundy Blush. This is also a matte, and it is much deeper and darker, but it is a beautiful burgundy shade. This one I would definitely recommend a lip liner with because as much as I would like to spend 15 minutes perfecting the exact shape of my lips, you get the idea of the color. Very dark, very nighttime appropriate, but it is also a very cool romantic shade in the fall. For me, I love when you do this like nice soft flush on your cheeks, super highlighted, really light on the eyes, and a really deep dark lip. I don't think I've done a tutorial like that yet on my channel. I really need to because I think it's such a beautiful look so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Actually, it's kind of close to what I'm wearing right now, except the lipstick would look a lot better. But again, Maybelline Burgundy Blush, absolutely gorgeous. Love it, and again, super affordable. I grabbed my other favorite from Maybelline just to keep it, you know, in the same spacing of the video. And this one is in the shade Crazy for Coffee. I think this is a matte as well. Are you matte? Are you not matte? Guess we'll find out in a second. It doesn't say that it's matte. The other one did. I don't know, but it's really pretty. Not a matte. <laughs> So again, I'm not spending a super long time shaping my lips. This will look a lot better when I do not have oil from the makeup wipe I'm using in between each of these because this will stay on your lips better. I cannot speak to the longevity of this one because I haven't worn this since last fall and I just really do not remember how long this will last on my lips. But since it is more of a satin sheen, I'm gonna guess that it doesn't last as long as a matte, but this shade is really beautiful. So this kind of works for that in between. It's still daytime, but it's definitely more autumnally toned and it is a nice deep brown, but without being as stark, especially against somebody who is very fair in skin tone, <laughs> like moi. 
I do have two ColourPop lippy sticks to feature today, and this is in the shade Grunge. This is the cool toned brown shade that looks really cool with like a denim jacket, white t-shirt. Love this color. I love ColourPop lippy sticks because they are super comfortable to wear. I love that it feels kind of more like a balm. It doesn't really feel like they're ultra satin lips. It feels a little bit more balmy than that, which means I will probably have to touch this up later. But it's so super comfortable. Your lips don't stick together. And I haven't seen any of these colors get on my teeth at all yet. So that's a really good sign. So again, this is grunge. And for my next color, I'm going to be showing you Lady. So as you can tell, this is not one of those colors that you can just put on without a mirror or really put on without expecting any upkeep during the day. This does have a tendency to slip around on my lips just a little bit. It's not like super extreme where it's like popping out to here or anything weird. But if you don't mind really making sure that your lipstick is perfectly in place, then this baby is for you. I have not tried this with a lip liner, so if you have, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know how that works for you. I should experiment with this the next time I go out. So I'm gonna put this in a different spot. Next, I have two MAC lipsticks, just the traditional kind, not their liquid lipstick. This is MAC Whirl. This was made very popular because this was the color everybody thought Kylie Jenner was wearing on her lips. And this is a very pretty, nice, true brown that you can wear day to day. And I love this color. It is continually getting harder and harder to get the shape right on my lips because they are now kind of swollen and dry from trying on so many. So just kind of ignore the red lines I've got going around my lips. It's not really the most attractive thing, but you can see the color and why I love it so much. I think that it goes with denim really well. I just love this shade because it is a nice mid-tone brown that's really going to work for your day-to-day -day fall shade. The next shade by MAC is one of their most popular ones. This one is in the shade Velvet Teddy. This is a glorious, perfect shade for day to day. And they also have a perfume that goes along with this. It's in their Shade Sense collection. And <laughs> it's just really pretty, so. If you're looking for a good fall nude that you really don't even have to put on with a mirror, even though I always struggle to find my lips without one, <laughs> I just struggle without mirrors sometimes, then this is the perfect shade for you. This is definitely the most nude out of all of the colors that I've chosen, but it still has all of those warm undertones that is going to make this color completely autumnally appropriate. The last three colors I'm going to be sharing with you are all liquid lipsticks, and the first one is by Lime Crime, and this one is in the shade Pumpkin. It's obvious why this one is perfect for fall. So clearly, if you were looking for lipsticks with really serious staying power, liquid lipsticks are the way to go. And I really like Lime Crime's Velveteens because they are very comfortable to wear. And I think that the colors are really beautiful. It doesn't settle into any fine lines. It doesn't really superly dry out your lips. They are just super comfortable. So this one is in the shade Pumpkin for obvious reasons. The next liquid lipstick, <laughs> my lips are so dry. This is gonna be a really interesting evening. The next liquid lipstick is by LA Splash, and this one is in the shade Latte Confession. This is a beautiful, muted, rosy, dusty, mauve shade. I love this color. I am shocked that I have not completely run out of this because I wear this one all the time. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that this is the most matte out of all of them. It's definitely not going to go anywhere. So that's what makes this really, really great for like office life or school life. If you just don't have time to mess with your liquid lipstick and you want it to stay with you all day long, this is a beautiful shade. You also might have to soak it to really get it off. <laughs> I forgot about this. 
And the last liquid lipstick is by Kat Von D. This is in the shade Lolita 2. Lolita was a beautiful mauve deep tone, and this one is kind of her orangey-ish toned sister. Really, really pretty. I have the full one of this, but this just happens to be the travel size that I grabbed. So this is what Lolita 2 looks like. It kind of has a whirl undertone with like oranges in there. I absolutely love the shade. I think it's perfect for that like day to day, again, kind of fall shade. If you don't want to mess with your lipstick or worry about it at all during the day, this is also one of those really amazing formulas that's totally gonna stick with you for the long haul. If you like this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to become virtual frenzies, you can not only subscribe, but also find me on all of my socials. All right, my darlings, I love you all dearly, and I will see you next time in my new video. And remember, be kind, be smart, and be glamorous.